You've taken the compatibility quizzes. Do you like the same movies, have the same hobbies, share the same dreams? But have you taken the most important test of all? Love is beautiful, isn't it? The laughter, the shared dream, the joy of being together. But what if I told you there's something crucial, something often overlooked that could make or break your relationship? It's not love, respect, or commitment. Do all those are essential. It is M-O-N-E-Y, money. Finance is the number one reason for relationship conflict. This is true according to international family studies and some global surveys. There are essential money questions that you must ask your partner before it's too late. Let's delve into them. Question one, what are your financial goals? Aligning your financial goals is crucial. Amos 3.3 asks, can two work together except they be agreed? If you're aiming for financial freedom and your partner is content with living from paycheck to paycheck, it's obvious you're on different paths. Not addressing this could lead to resentment, frustration, and even broken dreams. Question two, what debt do you have? Knowing what debt your partner brings into the relationship is vital. Proverbs in chapter 22 verse 7 warns that the borrower is servant to the lender. Hidden debts can cause major trust issues and if not dealt with wisely and openly can lead to financial ruin and deep emotional scars. Question three, what is your spending style? Understanding each other's spending habits is key to avoiding clashes. Are you a spender and your partner a saver or you're a saver and your partner is a spender? Proverbs in chapter 22 verse 20 tells us the wise store up choice foods and olive oil, but the fools gulp theirs down. Could you please take a moment to pause and like this video? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't and leave a comment below. If you don't discuss your money style and habits, you might find yourself constantly battling over money issues with one feeling restricted and the other feeling out of control. Question four, how do you view financial responsibility? Whoever can be trusted with very little can be trusted with much. That is what Luke chapter 16 verse 10 says. Financial responsibility actually reflects on other areas of life. Is your partner responsible with their finances? Do they prioritize savings or are they often late on their payments? Ignoring this can lead to a strange relationship where one person feels they are carrying the entire financial burden. Question five, how do you plan for the future? Planning for the future isn't just about vacation, it's about retirement, emergencies, and long-term goals. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 22 says, a good person leaves inheritance for their children's children. Failing to talk about future plans can leave you both unprepared and anxious with no safety net when life challenges arise. Now to my bonus question. How does faith influence your financial decisions? Matthew in chapter 6 verse 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given unto you as well. Understanding how faith influences your financial choices ensure that your values align. And this can be the difference between unity and division in your financial journey. These six questions aren't just about money. They are about trust, transparency, and building a solid foundation for your relationship. Proverbs in chapter 24 verse 3 to 4 reminds us that by wisdom a house is built and through understanding it is established. And true knowledge, its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. Do not wait until money problem drives a wedge between you. Start the conversation today. Ask the tough and important questions now and build a future together that's not only secure but also rooted in love and faith. Thank you for watching. I hope you found some value. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with another. You know there's no way I'm letting you go without sharing the word of God with you. So this week, I'm leaving you with a scripture in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. The NIV says, Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. This verse reminds us to prioritize our relationship with God and others over the pursuit of wealth. It encourages contentment and trust in God's provision rather than allowing financial concerns to dominate our lives and our relationships.